What's up everybody, back at you again for another review from Halo 6. Uh, I just did the review on the mod itself, so we're not going to be talking about that. This is the, the full starter kit for the Halo Reactor mod and tank. Just right now we're going to be talking about the tank. Alright, now let's see, I have it set on 30 watts. Let's go ahead and give it a bait. And I say I got my uh, airflow control all the way down so it won't leak by any chance. But it doesn't leak, leak much at all. Maybe it's just a little bit. If you have a really, really, really thin PG juice. But you can open it wide open. See those air slots? You can pretty much see through it. So you open it wide, you can get those cloud chaser hits. Massive airflow straight lung and hells let's give it a vape like that with the airflow is wide open pretty damn sweet right there pretty damn sweet right there now say you're not a, a lung inhaler and you want to go down to or you just don't like wide open flow. You can change the flow all the way from there to there. You can completely close it off and get your old style mouth to lung inhales. You just don't get as much vapor, but you get more throat hit and more flavor. All right, I'm going to open it back up all the way. That's the way I like to keep it. I'm going to show you how to fill it. Oh, yeah, by the way. It's all stainless steel, Pyrex glass tank, solidly made threads on it, or phenomenal uh, drip tip on it. The original one that come with it was kind of wobbly. It had a, a like white uh, Durlin plastic, so I replaced it with uh, one that was more sturdier. But uh, that's not, it's not a deal breaker at all. It's just one of the things I didn't like about the tank itself. The only thing. Alright, to fill it up, all you gotta do, turn, grab a hold of the top, turn it, pull it off. Simple as that. As you can see down there, you have two air, well not air slots, but uh, fill slots. You go ahead and grab your juice of choice, stick it down in there, watch it fill right on up. That easy. It's that easy, folks. And then you just take this, this is what this looks like. Your whole top, stick it back down in there, pow, done. Not loose, no wiggling, no nothing. Solid, solid tank. Now let's go ahead and crank it on up to 50 watts. 50 watts. Pretty impressive. I mean, that's... I pretty much fogged my room out here. Flavor, top notch. Not a single bit of burnt head to it. <laughs> the coil heads in it, very, very similar to the, like, say, the Aspire Lantis, the, uh, all the Aspire lines, the, the E-Leaf, uh, like, uh, Milo tanks. Is the coil heads are similar to all those that are out now that are tasting just so great but these are just a little bit different I think these have a little bit better flavor to them and I think that's because of the fact if you can see the the head the coil head itself just sits down right there into the juice just getting saturated at all at all times um, take it off the mod you have your standard 510 connection will work with any 510 mod it's just all around solid very very solid tank for the price I would go get one today guaranteed I guess that's it for now check stay tuned for more reviews I have plenty coming I'm just getting back into the flow of things so um, you know subscribe subscribe like and comment comment all you want i love to answer y'all's comments any questions about anything feel free to ask vape on y'all have a great day 
and don't forget to fight back the FDA. The FDA must go down trying to take this away from us.